Hey everyone, it is me, Chaos, Chaotic Dev, actually. I was about to say my old YouTube name. Um, we're back with Persona 3, and it is time to uh, continue on with our day, I guess. I uh, signed in already. See, I want to know why this works, but when I was testing out Cage 2 Rando and it the diagonals, he didn't seem to want to move. Anyways, let's go talk to Missouri. Right. Missouri, my bad. You really shouldn't be outside on your own at night. It's too dangerous. Anyway, you must be tired. You should go get a good night's rest. Oh, hi. What are you doing? Just looking around. Well, there's not much to see. You're probably pretty tired, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early tonight. Uh, Alright. They really want me to go to bed. So, I guess I'll go to bed. It's all the way down here. Will you go back to your room now? Yeah, I guess. You feel tired. You should get some rest. Okay. Excuse me. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Didn't you see the newspaper? There's a lot going on. I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. Oof. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. Apathy syndrome. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? The chairman will be here for the next few days, but after that, I can... Don't worry, I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. Uh, sorry, give me a second more. You overhear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about the bathroom? N no, not that one. I mean the story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, It's coming, it's coming. Huh, how about that? You don't believe me? First bell is wrong. I really like this music. Afternoon? Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zen Zhao Kasai. Sorry for the butchering. Ugh, why him? I rather teach Usubo Kuba. Bota. He became famous as a singer, but he also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kubota's book next time. Hey Junpei, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Huh? Uh, um, psst. who does she like? That's right, you were listening to me after all. <laughs> well, you know how I like to pay attention. Man, you saved my bacon, Dev. Your classmate's whispering. That gave me the answer. You must pay attention in class. You became slightly more popular. Charm has increased. Okay, social uh, stats are in this game. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was part of this, too. I know Persona's really... Especially this game is what started the whole social sins part. Since classes have ended for the day, you decided to go back to the dorms. Okay. Man, I really... The strip mall is lively in the evening. <coughs> mm, don't be surprised if I just uh, stop and listen to some of that music sometimes. Oh, he's back. So, this is our new guest. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. 
I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Fair, fair. Please, have a seat. Ikutsuki is easy for me because it kind of reminds me of Ikatsuki. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Why are you here? To welcome you, of course. Well, to be honest, I do have other business here. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. He's right. Is there anything else? There were only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. Akihiko. I hope you all get along. That's such a fun name to say. Any other questions? You saw something strange. Like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh-huh. Some yep, something doesn't seem right. Do you have another question? Then I hope you have a successful school year. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. You must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Uh-huh. Please forgive the pun. <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. Well, there I am, sleeping. Working hard? So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. I have the power of the wild card. And he's been hunted. Dark hour. Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Oh, okay, my bad. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Uh, 
Uh, the velvet room. Hi there, Igor. Welcome to the velvet room, my dear young man. Oh, so Igor's voice has always been that high pitch. The dark pitching persona fly. Uh, ah. Okay. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. Hi, Elizabeth. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It's been years since we've had a guest. <laughs> This, it's the document you signed at the dorm. <coughs> Only Sorry. those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return. Okay, what is it? you abide by the contract. And assume responsibility for the choices you make. Okay, easy. Hold on to this. Obtained velvet key. Till we meet again. God, my fan is just going. It feels like you had a strange dream. However, it's time to go to school. Uh, I forgot how pretty much autopilot these next few days are. I've only played up to like the first floor of Tartarus, I think. What's up? Man, today is the perfect day. The sky's blue, we're young. What more do we ask for? Of course, dude. Listen to this. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to say anything. Sorry, man. <laughs> What are you hiding, Junpei? <laughs> I'm Mr. Ikoda. I'll be teaching your classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. Some people say classic lit is relevant to everyday life, but oh, how they are wrong. The students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. No, we're staying awake. Hey, are you listening to me? Wake up, children. Now open your textbooks. First, on our syllabus is... I say... Monogatari. The origin of Japanese lit. Sorry for the butcher again. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might call it the bomb. No, just, just, just stop. <sighs> I can tell you people are zoning now. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Your academic syllabus. See? Gotta get those social stats. You decided to go home with Junpei. Time for the bob. Station is bustling with students on their way home. Hmm. Sorry about that. Oh, dark hour again. And I'm sleeping. How is he? Still sleeping. The same as last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. Nope. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, 
but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard he's your classmate. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? He has point. Yeah, I guess. But still. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Yep. Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. All right. Be careful. <laughs> yep, time to see Orpheus. Takihiko! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Yeah, it is. It's one of them, Akihiko? Shadow? Yes. Yes, but not an ordinary one. Uh, what the? You've got to be kidding me. Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeda, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! I I'm going. You were awoken by a low noise. You hear a commotion down the hall. You decide to go take a look. Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in! I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now! Okay, okay, okay. What's going on? A short sword. Huh. Okay, let's go. I really like this music though. Alright, we should be safe now. Start going up to the roof. What are we gonna do? They're downstairs. Do we need to wait to go further up? You would be correct. Whoa, whoa. What are we gonna do? Just go further up. Now, roof? Oh no. What was that? Oh yeah, if we go out through there. Oh, I think we're okay for now. Nope.
surprise. Those monsters, we call them shadows. Come on, do it. Here comes, I think, the coolest awakening scene, but I haven't played Persona 4 yet, so we'll see. He knows what he has to do. And then Orpheus transforms into that And then back to Orpheus. <clears throat> what on earth is that? <gasps> this the sudden swell of power has subsided. Orpheus regained its original form. You have you have attained a new persona. Orpheus. Is it over? why I like the this one over um, the other Persona Awakenings is because this one actually shows you like the final Persona that you can achieve while with like Persona 5 it only showed it after the final battle. Does that make sense? Dev chaotic. Felt a surge of energy inside. Your hit points and spear points have increased. You're now not able to create personas up to level 2. Something inside you has changed. Orpheus is leveled up. Your magic is increased by 1, your agility is increased by 1, your luck is increased by 1. 
Orpheus learned Augie. Are you okay? Oh, come on. Say something. Are you all right? Yeah, never better. Can you hear me? Please, answer me! Back to the velvet room. It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. It's nothing to worry about, though. Not really. So just relax. By the way, I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. It may take some time to fully comprehend. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. I like shooting you yourself can in the head. think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. That being said, <laughs> your power is mask. still weak. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please remember that. And I will. Now then, still don't know who I'm going to on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Fair enough. Until then, farewell. Your mind is getting clearer. You wonder how long you've been asleep. You feel someone's presence beside you. Probably Yukari. So I do. You're awake. Um, uh, how do you feel? Thank goodness you finally came too. How much sleep do you need? It's been a whole week. Wait, what? I was so worried about you. Oh yeah, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. But you kept sleeping and sleeping. You know how worried I was? Um... I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Even though I was supposed to protect you, I... But your power... It was amazing. You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And the power you use, we call it Persona. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. Oh, well, it's nice of you. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, Oof. my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. Yeah, fair. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them, too. 
I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Eh, it's fine. Really? But still. And here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. And you did. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. Fair enough. All right. I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Take it easy, okay? Be a good patient. And don't hesitate to call the nurse. I'm sure she'll take good care of you. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Morning, you seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. That's good. Hey, sorry to hit you with this first thing in the morning, but it's two ski saw and one talk to you today. Come to the fourth floor of the dorm after school, okay? Don't forget. He's gonna make me a C's member. That's enough about mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. And that wraps it up for the Stone Age. I'm tired of lessons about stones. I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history is not that exciting at the moment. Though I am, I'm paid to do this, so I have, so I've gotta. It's tough being an adult. You have no idea. Next is the Jamon period. When do the samurai get their day in the sun? I'll just ask a question at random and call it a hmm, hey Junpei. What was the style of houses in the Jumon period called? I think I remember this was just like mud huts, I think? Huh, how am I supposed to know about something way back then? Yeah, what the heck is he talking about? It's mud huts. That's correct, mud huts were built by digging a hole in the ground and supporting the roof. It's no use, I can't get interested. Ah, uh, I want to get to the age of katanas, everything else is so dull. Hey, I answered right, and I don't get any credit? Oh well, thanks Dad. Your classmates whispering. He told Junpei the answer, he's really smart. He became slightly more popular. Tribe has increased. Seems like you'll be discussing something important at the dorm today. You decided to go home around. I will never get tired of this song. Shopping mall is filled with people coming and going. Hopefully I can save her. Yes. There's no one in the lounge. We're at told to go to. Alright guys. I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a like. Leave a comment, let me know what your guys' thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay chaotic.